problema de úlcera en In the name of Jesus Christ. desde hace siete años. In the blood of Jesus Christ. Elle est sur de lice. Be delivered. Be healed. Depuis sept ans. Be healed. Vemos esa herida abierta. Parce que je suis en train de transmettre le Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. And she's here in our midst to testify of God's goodness. Put your hands together for Jesus. So, madam, you're welcome. We have a testifier here. But she'll be speaking in one of our local dialects, Pigeon. So, mama, we welcome you in Jesus' name. I beg, tell us your name. The person where they stand beside you and share with us the wonderful thing where God Almighty don't do for your life. Good morning, church. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. My name is Celestina Ugu. The child standing by my side is my son. I'm from Enugu State. It all started one day like this. I wake up, I see my leg swelling up, scratching me. So I don't know what to do. I was in my shop one day, there's one man, he come. He told me, say, this thing is a bad blood that they will reuse the blood and remove it. That's all, everything will go down. As they tear it, the, where they tear it become sore everywhere. So I go to hospital. After hospital, they said I should cut the leg. That they have to cut the leg. So I came back. I tell my husband, I said, I no one cut this leg. So there's one day, my husband just go out, come back. He bring anointing water, come from this church. So I begin to use it. As I they use them, I can't see great change. So, Mama said her name is Mrs. Celestina Ego. And one day she woke up and she noticed that her legs began to swell. After a while, the legs became so hard. And one day she was sitting in her shop and a man came, to, a man approached her and told her that this thing that is happening to you is as a result of accumulation of bad blood, and he decided to help her with it. So he bought a new razor blade and made some incisions on her legs. After making those incisions on her legs, the blood flushed out, and shortly after, the incisions turned into sores, and the sores refused to heal. She went to the hospital after so much after so many trials, after so many treatments from the doctors, the solution was amputation. So she refused to amputate her legs. So I begin to use the anointing water. I can't see great change. Something begin to change. I can't see this place where they bring this um, anointing water. I will go there by myself to go and receive my permanent healing. That's how I take on here. So Mommy Evelyn Joshua pray for me that day. So as he prayed for me, I don't feel cool within myself as he was praying for me. From that day, everything begins to dry, dry, dry. That's how I feel. So Mama said that after that suggestion of amputation was given to her and she refused, she went back home. Her husband left the house one day and came back with a bottle of anointing water. And they prayed as a family and administered the anointing water. And immediately she administered the anointing water. She started to see changes, tremendous changes. And she told her husband, she said, that place you went to and got this anointing water, take me there. And that was how she came. 
And that was how she came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. And she was prayed for by Pastor Evelyn Joshua. And immediately the woman of God, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, touched her. She felt a cold sensation in her body. She felt ease. And she went back home, and people of God, that was how the sore began to dry. The sore began to dry, and now she is free to the glory of God. Put your hands together for Jesus. So, madam, tell us. You go tell us now. What be the things where you, you know feed do before? How that problem take affect you? So, madam, you will tell us. What were the things that you could not do before? How the problem affected your life? Please tell us. When I was having this problem, I doesn't go out. Like as I, I'm a businesswoman, I doesn't go shop. It's only my husband and my children that normally help me. I was just still at home crying. So I, I know if you go out, I know if you move around. Uh, the leg, they smell. Nobody, they even green near me. So it affected me so much. So Mama said that the problem affected her in so many ways. She could not walk properly. She could not even go to the market. She could not go to shop. And because of the, the, the water that was coming out of the leg, it was really smelling. People could not come close to Mama. But now, Mama, after that touch... From the woman of God, Pastor Evelyn Joshua. What changes did you notice? Now, how do you feel now that you are well? So, Mama, after the woman of God, Pastor Evelyn Joshua touched you, what do you feel? How you feel now when you say you don't do all right? I feel happy. That's why I come to return the glory to God of Prophet B. Joshua. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I can go out. I'm delivered. I'm here now. I'm happy. Praise the Lord. People of God, put your hands together. So, Mama, show us. What are the things that you can do now that you couldn't do before? Like now, I can walk well. Before, I don't even walk. I just, I just sit one place like that. But now I can walk well. I can walk well. To the glory of God. I can walk well. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So, Mama, you feel show us that affected area, that place where that wound been day. You feel show us the place now. Yes. Yes. Since all these things have been going crying, she's awake. Many times I wake up in the midnight, I'll discover that she's not sleeping. Is that crying or she's so one thing or other? At me, self, is or she's. So one thing or other, at me self, used to affect me. So it really, really affect us. And also, she could not cook. Sometimes, if I did not cook, my brother will cook or my dad will cook because of the condition. She could not go to the her shop to do her business. So we are the one going to the market. Then anything will, will bring everything back to her. So that is how it has been going through all this while. So I really thank God for what God has done in our lives. So, sir, tell us, with this wonderful work that God Almighty has done in, the, in your family, what is your word of advice? My word of advice is that anything, in any situation you find yourself, just put God first in everything before taking any action. Amen. People of God, this was a woman that came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations with a problem of leg ulcer. After the, 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 the prayer from the woman of God, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, she is here in our midst, working freely to the glory of God. People of God, put your hands together for Jesus. So, Mama, we advise you, we, we rejoice with you over this good work that God Almighty has done in your life and in the life of your family. So we advise you to go and make God's word the standards for your life in Jesus' name. 
Escuchamos el increíble testimonio de esta mujer. Ella vino a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones con un problema de úlcera en la pierna. Ella nos comenta que un día se despertó con las piernas inflamadas y una persona le dijo de que tenía que hacerse diferentes, diferentes incisiones para que ella pudiera tener la pierna normal. Al realizarse esas incisiones, las mismas no cerraban y se produjeron una úlcera en la pierna, la cual llegó aquí a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones. Y la pastora Belin Joshua oró por ella con el nuevo unción y ella recibió su sanidad y ahora está aquí testificando de que desde entonces ella ya no tiene más dolor en su pierna, puede caminar sin ningún problema, dando toda la gloria a Jesucristo por este maravilloso milagro. Nous venons d'écouter le même témoignage de Madame Célestina et son fils Emmanuel. Madame Célestina a souffert de l'ulcère au pied. Elle ne rêvait qu'elle s'est relevée un jour et elle a vu sa jambe enflée. Soumise au conseil d'un soi-disant guérisseur, elle s'est fait inciser par le pied. Mais la situation s'empira. Elle a cherché des solutions dans les hôpitaux mais en vain. Elle a reçu les conseils des docteurs d'amputer sa jambe, mais elle a refusé. Dépasse par situation, elle est venue sur la scope de toutes les nations où elle a reçu ça. Guérison complète lorsqu'elle a reçu la prière de la part de la pasteur Evelyne Dochois. Elle nous dit maintenant qu'elle peut marcher très bien, qu'elle peut vaquer librement à ses occupations. Et comme conseil, elle nous dit de mettre Dieu en première position ainsi que son fils qui a confirmé cela, car Dieu rien ne lui est impossible. Restons connectés pour la suite des témoignages.